We got another bullet hole. The only difference on this one, this is not a little guy. That's a big guy. That's a higher caliber. <laughs> that one will fucking do some damage to you. <laughs> wants to know the price of this laundromat i don't actually know the fucking price of this laundromat because i'm buying two laundromats i made one deal includes two laundromats the guy owns three i actually tried to buy all three he ended up selling two because he wants to semi-retire but he doesn't want to have to go home and deal with his fucking wife all the time which i get so he wants to keep the one laundromat he's got the one laundromat that i actually should take you to maybe we'll go do that but the two i'm buying is 1.1 million dollars and the situation is we're getting two buildings, one 8,000 square foot, one 3,500 square foot. We're getting all the equipment all together for $1.1 million, which is a hell of a deal. The one laundromat that's 8,000 square foot used to be a monster, it used to do tons of money. Then some fucking asshole put another fucking laundromat 10 blocks away that killed it. So come with me, like it, don't like it, fuck it, I don't care, subscribe, actually subscribe. Actually do fucking like, subscribe, write every fucking thing you want, because I don't fucking give a shit what you write, but I do give a fuck about the money I'll make off of it. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to a laundromat that's a twofer. I'm buying the one, we've already seen it. This is the second half of that one. And essentially, this is gonna be the better one. Like the other one is basically just part of the deal because he's trying to get done with it. So this is the actual laundromat we're interested in. It's gonna be really shitty and ugly, but the fact is it makes a lot of money being shitty and ugly. So after we clean it up, it's gonna make a lot of fucking money. Makes good money now, it's gonna make fucking great money. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get fucking skill games in there and it might be our best location for skill games in the city. Like I said previously, this is a twofer. I'm buying this laundromat with another laundromat. And it's a package deal, because this is actually the laundromat I want. And I know it looks like shit, and I'm gonna tell you right now, we're gonna go in here, and it is pretty shitty, but by the time we get this motherfucker wrapped up, this will be a world-class laundromat. I've been kind of looking to go over those. So, this actually got some nice things, and I hate this. They added this, it used to be this beautiful red brick, but for some reason, this whole area added it. And he actually paid to put this on there. I actually wanted them to tear it off, but it's stuck it on there, so I don't know if we're gonna paint it or, I just hate it. I mean, this looks like shit. When you go in here, it's a lot different than what the most of the laundries that we own look like. They got these like rooftop units that are sitting here blowing air over the top. But they do have these machines. These are the machines you want. And these are not too old. I mean, they're not really new, but these got a good 10 years on them. And these are actually brand new. So these machines are brand new, two years old. I mean, this is, you got $15,000, $45,000 sitting right here. And it's part of the sale. Like, we're getting this as an asset. This stuff's old. You can see the inlays. But we, you can actually buy these. So we're going to end up, like, relaying these and trying to get buttons. Because they're, they're still usable. They just need to be cleaned up. So, like, all the stuff is punched out. We'll fix that. We'll get rid of those two pot machines. But this is the most important part. This area right here, it's a kid's area. I mean, look at this filth. You can let your fucking kids play in here all fucking way. Like, I mean, it's like fucking filth and wall. I mean, this is never been clean. We're tearing all those fucking out. This is where the skill games are going. This will be the most profitable fucking spot in the slaughter. He has the property, he has the parking, it's already a laundromat. And be honest, like, we've gone through it. I mean, it's terrible. I mean, there's, there's a lot of problems, there's a lot of issues. It's a terrible area, which is actually good for laundromats. And that fucking dump is making $5,000. Smells like shit in here. It does smell like shit. It's because of fucking sewage and the ventilation. Like you got this thing. I mean, this trash. Oh, look at this. I mean, look at the trash. Just sitting. Someone there. could fucking die in there. Yeah, like we'll get it. So we'll actually build a bulkhead and we'll get it cleaned up. And you won't see the backs of these. These are gone. I hate these. They're gonna be dollars off. Well, in the interim, we'll probably raise them to four dollars. Cause I don't want people using these. These are not great and they break down all the time. I don't have these in any of my stores. We will remove these, but. When we get this, there's a lot here. So it's gonna be just a slow, kind of clotting process. I mean, that. I mean, we'll fucking clean this up. I mean, that looks like, fuck, even a prison wouldn't make you do that. I mean, well, this one's weird too. Like, so, this also, this is weird. He has a door that accesses the dryer, didn't he? I mean, he's like the fucking toilet paper bro. I mean, this has been kicked in, you can see. Like, I don't even know why it's there. I'd fucking wall that off. Like, there's no reason to have access to the 
behind the dryers and the thing. You have a full garage that actually, so we can't go back there because he's not here yet and we haven't purchased the building. Well, we have another contract, but it's not purchased. So you actually can physically walk back there. There's no reason for that door to be there. This is weird. I don't know if he knows this, but all these are, you should not be able to do this. This guy's probably getting, fu this fucking store actually as well, and he's probably getting fucking robbed. Right here, the coin box. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. I mean, he's got some fucking tweaker in here, fishing quarters, guaranteed. These are all on my. Holy fucking hell, every one of them. He probably doesn't know this is happening. Like, these are all unlocked. So someone had a key and they had a nub. And what they did is they took the nub off and they turned it on lock and they pulled it. But there's supposed to be a nub on it so you can't pull it unless it's locked. So the nub lines up, you pull it, you turn it back. But like I said, something's gone. Look at you can see how bad these are. Yeah, compared to the ones I was showing you. Like nobody's cleaning this. I mean, he probably has a, guy, a gal coming in overnight. Somehow somebody got a key and they knocked the nub off it and they decided to unlock all the top washers. So literally there's somebody going in there, pulling off the top of the washers and literally sticking their hands in the fucking money box. The motherfuckers got silent partners and still, still makes $5,000 a week and those fucking bumps and it's a shithole. I mean, if I can't fucking make money in here, I will fucking quit. I will never do another one. If I don't make money in this place, I will never, ever build another laundry again. But, and he would have left easily, like I said, that he walked out anyway. Should people have there. access to the panel? Yeah, like so. That's fucked, that's dangerous. Well, this is actually fucked too, because there's breakers missing. <laughs> I mean, you're supposed to put blanks in here. Per electrical code, there should be a blank. So you just stick your finger right here, and that's live bus. So we could get electrocuted by just touching that silver piece right there. <clears throat> so so should I, you go to the city and say you're not in code and then repossess it? I wouldn't do that because, I mean, we're going to buy it, and the guy's a good guy. But my concern with this is you have a child. I mean, I don't care if your kid's three years old. Three-year-old can easily reach this. I mean, three-year-old right here to my knee sticks his finger in there. Three-year-old getting electrocuted with this with 200 amps. That's... That's possibly lethal. Okay, there's a lot of safety concerns. Like my biggest, biggest, biggest concern, that electrical panel where you can open it and a little kid that's even a three-year-old can stick their, they wanna stick their hand in every single hole. I mean, they wanna stick it out and everything else. They can actually physically stick their hand in that hole and be exposed to 200 amps at 120 volts. That is absolutely terrifying. That's what we gotta do, number one. Number two, the layout's a little bit rough and he's been adding new machines and just kind of hodgepodge it in there, not really thinking it out. We're gonna start making some changes to that, evening up walls, making it so there's not blind spots, probably taking out old equipment that isn't working and cannibalizing it into other equipment. So hopefully when we're actually done with this thing in three months, we'll have 100% uptime on equipment and then we'll have like, we'll start making little improvements. Like, this one's extremely rough. We're not gonna be able to just snap our fingers and do it. It's gonna take three to six months. And then after we actually have it the way we want, it's gonna take another six months for people to even try it again because this place has already lost customers just from letting stuff go down. And then I'm thinking six months from now, we'll actually have this to where it's it's a decent functioning laundromat. And we'll never call this any time laundry unless we completely retool it and put in all new machines. And that's since we're not going to do that, we're actually, I believe, going to call this Washtopia. We haven't 100% committed to the name yet. So Super Laundry is not so super anymore. We're going to get a different name. We're going to call it Washtopia, and we are going to turn it around. Like that store doing that well, being managed the way it is, absolutely just blows my mind. We will turn it around and that store will be great. It will be clean, it'll be nice, it'll be bright, it'll be safe, and it'll be doing way more than $5,000 a week. The biggest and best thing about this store, and I'm telling you, this one will make money. It already makes money. You see the condition it's in, and it makes money currently. So after we start cleaning up and the, the public around here starts noticing, it'll make even more money. One pain in my ass that this store is gonna give me is it's a quarter store. So you saw those buckets that we were cleaning out of the other ones, nine buckets of coins. I mean, this thing's gonna be 18 buckets of coins. So this is gonna do $5,000, but it's quarters, not dollar coins. So this is gonna be a motherfucker. We're gonna collect this thing probably two, three times a week, and it's just gonna be a son of a bitch. These big machines, we'll probably have to collect every two days. We'll get away with the smaller ones doing less. And like I said, I'm actually excited though. Like with the fucking, he's probably getting robbed. <laughs> and he's still making $5,000 a week. $5,000 a week is fucking insane, especially since he's probably being robbed as we just saw that the, all the damn tops are off of the, the things, uh, off of the machines. And I mean, like I said, the fucking homeless, you, we get those fucking homeless out of there. 
then guess what? Then the little old lady that's got her kids are gonna go in there, but she's not gonna go in there with those fucking homeless people hanging around. I mean, shit, those kids, you don't even know what these fuckers are talking about. They're talking to themselves, talking to the imaginary fucking man. I mean, you're not gonna put your fucking kids around that. I mean, we got one guy coming there with one little load of clothes. That is not our fucking demographic. That guy that's bringing his one little bag, you got four fucking people in there, one with one little bag. Like, we want that little woman who's got 18 fucking kids, her husband works 80 hours a week, that's the lady we want to go in there. You think that lady's gonna go with those fucking bums eating in there? No fucking way. No fucking way. The reality is that we are getting two buildings and two laundromats for $2.1 million, which in all honesty, with this one being underperforming and doing as well as it is anyway, it's a steal. Like, I mean, this is a really good deal for me. It's a really good deal for this company. And this particular location has a massive amount of upside. Like just the location it's in, the competition that's surrounding it, this store should be doing almost double what it's currently doing. And it, 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 the problem with a store like this is it's gonna take longer because now it's got this reputation that has been ran down and people that have tried it once or twice, they're not gonna come back. And I was painting the building, they still aren't gonna take the chance to come in here. And here we go, see we got some more bums coming in here right now. It's gonna be fucking bum humbleville. That won't be the case anymore. So it is what it is, you know? You gotta deal with it as it comes. I'll tell you right now, if I did currently own this, this would be an issue we would deal with, but I don't own it, so we're just gonna ignore it. So what they're actually doing is, I mean, he's going in there to a bathroom with no clothes and he's doing drugs. Because believe me, they shit and piss in the fucking street. So this motherfucker walks in there, just bypasses us right there, has no clothes, not doing laundry, goes straight to the bathroom. Like these fucking people will piss and shit all over the fucking street, the sidewalk, any fucking place. He's not going in there to piss or shit. He just did that outside. He's going in there to shoot up because you can piss and shit all over the fucking place and nobody gives a fuck, but all of a sudden you start sticking a fucking needle in your arm, then all of a sudden somebody gives a shit. And they don't give a fucking shit because you're sticking a needle like they want to fucking help you. They're a bunch of fucking do-gooders. Guess what? Nothing's going to help that motherfucker. Nothing. We got another bullet hole. The only difference in this one, this is not a little guy. That's a big guy. That's a higher caliber. <laughs> That one will fucking do some damage to you. <laughs> if you're sitting right here, imagine. That, that's a real, that's a real, like, you know that one we had? That one we saw earlier. Holy shit, it goes outside. Yeah, the one, yeah, it is. That one shot it from here in. Yeah, that one's out. So the last one, the, yeah, it, it, the fray was on the inside, but it was also small caliber. It was probably 22. It might have even been like a pellet gun. That's, that's at least a nine. <laughs> It might be it might be a 45, so that's a fuck that's a fucking kill you bullet. <laughs>